Frankfurt Motor Show is the place to see what's new from the German automakers. This year, they talked a big game about electric cars, but didn't actually show any new ones that were ready for production. Instead, we got a lot of high-end luxury cars, SUVs, and a mind-blowing Formula One race car that's road legal. First, this Honda Urban EV concept was a surprise of the show. It's tiny like the original Civic with bench seats, and production will be in 2019. The Volkswagen ID Cross concept is another electric show car from VW. This time, it's kind of a crossover SUV, as the company's pivoting hard and fast away from diesel engines. This is the new Porsche Cayenne. It might not look like it, but it's actually all new with new engines under the hood. It's more powerful with more features, but prices are increasing as well. The Land Rover Discovery SVX is a ruggedized version of the Discovery handmade by Land Rover's special vehicle operations division. It's got a winch built right into the rear bumper and they shoehorned a V8 under the hood. Nice. The Porsche GT3 Touring Package was another surprise, and this might be my new favorite 911. The Touring Pack deletes the huge rear wing, adds comfort features, and generally makes it look respectable, not like an escapee from the Fast and Furious. The Audi R8 V10 RWS is a limited edition, and it'll probably be the best handling R8 because it does away with all-wheel drive, putting power instead to the rear wheels only. BMW had so, so many debuts, an updated i3, an electric mini concept, and this, the 600 horsepower all-wheel drive, all new M5. I drove the prototype already, and it's safe to say this M5 will bring back a bit of the handling magic lost in the previous model. Also from BMW is the iVision Dynamics concept. Silly name, but it previews a future family car in the i lineup. All carbon fiber and all electric. But this thing, this stole the show. The Mercedes AMG Project One. It's a 1.6 liter hybrid engine making over a thousand horsepower. In fact, it's actually the same motor you'll find inside Mercedes' Formula One winning race car. But this thing's street legal, if you've got a few million bucks. There's never been anything like it before. <laughs>